From your Center for the Arts studio, this is your AUTV20 News Break. I'm Nick Stupka. Thanks for tuning in. In local news, construction projects are anticipated to affect highways in Richland County this week. Richland Source reports that US 30 from State Route 309 to just east of the 5th Avenue ramps will have lane closures for a major rehabilitation project. The estimated completion of the entire project is May of 2023. In state news, a 7th grade student at Litchfield Community Learning Center in Akron was detained Monday after other students reported a rumor of him having a gun to teachers. According to News 5 Cleveland, LCLC, as well as the Firestone Community Learning Center, were placed on lockdown for 30 minutes following the report. While under lockdown procedures, staff and the police resource officer responded and searched the student, locating a loaded gun in his fanny pack. Akron Public School officials praised the student body for speaking up about the firearm, and it is unclear if the student will be charged at this time. And in national news, two power substations in a North Carolina county were damaged by gunfire in what is believed by authorities to be a criminal act on Sunday. According to the Associated Press, the damage dealt to the substations could take days to repair and left about 45,000 more county residents without power. Duke Energy has restored power to roughly 9,000 customers as of Monday, and the FBI is continuing to work with state investigators to find out who is responsible for the shootings. And now, a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today will bring early fog followed by afternoon showers, highs near 47 and a low of 44. Wednesday will bring cloudy skies with a high of 48 and a low of 38. Thursday, clouds will persist with 44 as the high and 36 as the low. On Friday, expect some light rain with highs near the mid-40s and a high of 42 to kick off your weekend on Saturday. That is it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across all social media at AUTV20. I'm Nick Stupka, wishing you the happiest of holidays this season.